The data so far is very encouraging for both of the vaccines that we have. There are other vaccines that use a similar approach and the outcome is likely to be very similar with good protection against infection. So the data that we have so far shows that both of the vaccines will prevent disease. What we don't know yet is whether they prevent infection and whether people, if they've been vaccinated and they come in contact with the infection, whether they could be mildly infected, whether they could transmit to other individuals or how long the protection will last. The advantages of mRNA vaccines are that they can be made very, very quickly and to enough to vaccinate quite literally millions of people. There are two mRNA vaccines that have currently completed their phase three trials. And there are two further adeno vector vaccines that are close behind. Both of these use slightly different adenoviral vectors.